Hi guys, Vipin here. Uh, before I proceed, uh, let me apologize in advance. You might be able to hear a lot of construction noise. That's because one of my neighbors is breaking down his house. So, uh, apologies for that. And the sound quality may be a little bad in this. But nonetheless, uh, that's something which I can't really control. So, uh, let me proceed. Now, one of my students requested me a video on how is it that people who make applications like WhatsApp, uh, Candy Crush, Temple Run, uh, games on mobile phones, especially Android, or applications in general on Android, how did these guys actually go about making money? Now, here is a short video when it comes to explaining how these people make uh, their profits. And by the way, let me tell you this in advance. The amount of money that these guys make is hell of a lot. Now, the way in which the mobile business is working today, especially the Android market, is one of the most interesting forms of marketing I've ever come across. Now, the way in which most of these games work is through something called microtransactions or they're known as freemium. Okay, uh, They call themselves as freemium because there is a big part of the application that is uh, free. But there are certain things in the application that is expensive. That is rather you have to pay for it. Now, let's look at an application like WhatsApp. We all go about using WhatsApp. Now, how does WhatsApp go about making money through an annual membership? Now, if you go to that uh, screen on your WhatsApp wherein it tells you uh, pay for your membership, pay for your subscription. The current rate right now is around 55 rupees. Now, WhatsApp is used by millions of people worldwide. Now, as you know, the company gives you one year of free service. And after that, you have to go for go about paying for this. Now, when these people actually go about paying for this, imagine a dollar equivalent is the amount of money per person is going to pay for one year extension of their subscription. It's not a lifetime thing. It's one year subscription that they have to pay almost a dollar. They have to pay for that. Millions of people uh, join WhatsApp every day and you can see how much is the potential revenue for this institution. Uh, right now, of course, it's owned by Facebook. Facebook is going to become really rich when these subscriptions start to come in. Every person who has a WhatsApp subscription is going to have to go about paying a dollar. And that is a very, very good source of revenue. So for a big part of the application, it's free. But there are certain things which you have to go about paying for. Now, the volumes you can see here is extensive. Just go to the Android market and see how many people have actually downloaded WhatsApp. It's by the millions. So millions of people downloading is equal to millions of people paying. So therefore, that's a very, very good amount of money you can make. And then people get frustrated fast. So let's capitalize this. Now, that's where mobile gaming comes in. Now, I was someone who used to play Candy Crush. And those who play Candy Crush know very well that this particular game is one of the most addictive there is. I don't know if you fear, I don't know your opinion about Candy Crush and I apologize if I've given you a request to play Candy Crush but trust me once you start playing this game it's you become a drug addict in the world of gaming. Now what happens is when you play a game like Candy Crush you come very very close to completing that level and when you come so close it tells you that you've run out of moves the time is up or the level is going to come to an end because you've not done something. And the next screen tells you that, do you want to continue to play? We'll give you extra moves. We'll give you this particular power up. All you have to do is pay 55 rupees or 100 rupees. For so many people who are hardcore gamers, especially mobile gamers, they don't mind paying the small amount of money. And this is where, again, the business is able to make a great deal of money. There are certain levels in Candy Crush wherein it's purely luck that is going to help you clear it. And a lot of people know very well if they their luck is going to run out, there is another way in which you can clear the level and that's by going about buying power-ups. Now power-ups as well. In some levels, you know very well that you can't clear it unless you get these power-ups. And that's when many people go about paying for it. And that's where institutions like Candy Crush or King Gaming, if I'm not wrong, goes about making money. 
And there are certain levels as well where it really, really tests your patience. After a particular group of levels, you require to play quests. And if you uh, play one particular quest, you have to go about waiting for 24 hours. Now, this game is so addictive, you really can't go about waiting for 24 hours. And that's where, again, people are like, okay, I'll pay some amount of money and I'll get through uh, the next set of levels by avoiding playing these quests. This is how uh, Candy Crush works. And that's where you're able to make a great deal of money when you are able to capitalize on people's frustration. Uh, there's another game as well, uh, Asphalt 8. I'm heavily addicted to this. Now, this game is one more uh, such as Candy Crush where it goes about testing your patience. You start off with just one car in the beginning. And there are certain levels wherein if you want to play those levels, you have to buy more cars. And you can't really go about buying more cars because the number of coins you earn in every level is very less. So the developer tells you, go about buying a pack of cars. Say, buy the D-class series of cars. It costs you 100 rupees. The C-class costs you about 55 rupees. Now, this is something I did. I am not ashamed to say that I did go about buying these cars because I certainly don't have the patience. These games like Asphalt 8 and Candy Crush are extremely addictive. So most people who are into gaming are like, oh, fuck it. Let's not go about waiting for such a long period of time. It's a small amount of money. Let's pay for it and let's clear those different levels. So this is how you're able to capitalize on people's frustration. And I'm not ashamed to say I'm a victim of that. Now, uh, sorry about that. Yeah. The cost of developing an Android application is less. This is where the advantages come in. Android has been made as an open source. So anyone without taking permission from Google can go about making applications related to Android. Now I've seen some a variety of applications for uh, available on the Android market. Like I've seen applications related to religion. I've seen applications related to education. Uh, there are countless when it comes to the amount of benefits you have when it comes to Android market. Now, when it comes to making this uh, profitable, all you need to do is make an application. If you're a good programmer, you can make an Android application by just sitting at home, test the application, clear the bugs, and immediately publish on the Android market. And when you publish on the Android market, you have to pay a small amount of money for the publishing cost. I think it's around $25 that you need to pay. After that, the amount of money you're charging for people to download the game, all that is something that can go to your pocket. This is one very, very lovely advantage of Android that makes it a very, very profitable venture to take up. And then mobile gaming is the current trend. Now, there are lots of games released by the same company with the same format. Like if you consider uh, King Publishing, the gaming company, they not only make Candy Crush, they even make another game called Pet Rescue. Both of them have got the similar format. If you're unable to clear that particular level, you can buy power-ups and that's the way in which they can make money. So, mobile gaming is the current trend because mobile gaming is a much more affordable way to play some very good quality games. And there are a lot of games today wherein the graphics are almost on par, dare I say, compared to the PC games or the Xbox games. So, this turns out to be the current trend. So, let's again capitalize on this. And then, um, the downside to that. Uh, gamers can switch, switch to new trends rapidly. Oh, that's there. I don't know if you guys remember this game Temple Run. This was a big thing about a year or a year and a half ago. And I hardly see anyone these days going about playing this game. So people switch to new ones. Uh, then the clone version of uh, Temple Run came in, uh, Subway Surfers. I'm pretty sure that I haven't seen anyone these days play Subway Surfers. The last time I saw was my colleague about a year ago playing Subway Surfers. So people switch their trends pretty rapidly. The technology barriers may prevent you from making uh, my major improvements. Now, this game Asphalt 8, it's close to about uh, 1.5 GB, I think, to download. Now, there are a lot of people who are unable to download this game because their internal memory doesn't support it. Now, this makes it a problem because the newer games this company is going to release, Gameloft, 
you are going to see that it's going to have better quality graphics, better quality sound, and therefore it's going to take up more space. And that means people have to upgrade hardware, people have to buy new phones in order to support these games. So that makes it a challenge for them to make these major improvements. All they could do is tweak a few things here and there and minor changes they could go about doing here and there. So that's what you have when it comes to the downside. And there are certain games like, of course, Temple Run, where there is absolutely nothing you can change. There are no maps you can change. There is no characters you can change because all that is pretty much the same. So this is pretty much how people in the Android market actually go about making money. Uh, go ahead, develop your own uh, gaming player game or develop your own uh, uh, application, some SMS way of going about connecting. You have the options in by the hundreds. So make something, publish it on Android, and who knows, I may even go about buying it as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, thank you for your time, and please go about subscribing to my videos. And I say please by holding my hands up like this. Not really someone who does this, but uh, please go about subscribing to my videos. So, bye guys.